Hi everybody, this is Nate Hoffman with G Suite for Healthcare Providers. Of course, if you like the content that I'm producing, please feel free to like or share my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel or even come join my Facebook group. Um, anyway, folks, I've been asked uh, recently on our Facebook page about how to obtain a signature, right? So there's a couple ways that you can do this. And if you're talking about patient signatures, you can pull up your Google Doc on the spot with them and have them sign it. We are currently working on a way to be able to obtain a signature via a form, an actual signature, right? Some people are doing like an electronic signature where it's like check this box and this counts as your signature. I'm gonna let you decide on the legalities of that and kind of look up your own data if you want some articles on it, feel free to reach out and there's a few things that I've found that I've read. Um, anyway, so I'm just here to kind of show how to create a signature. Now, typically, you're going to want a template, right, for your documents. You're going to want a template for like an evaluation or a follow-up or whatever it is, and it already kind of has everything spelled out there for you. It already has your signature, already has, you know, just kind of a general flow for your soap note, whatever that you have. So, um, but it, let's say I just want to add a signature at the bottom. So it's there for when I finalize it. And again, so when I finalize, what I want to do is I want to create, I, it's my personal preference to create a PDF uh, for that encounter. Some people prefer to just have it go forward in Google Sheets um, or just keep Google Docs. My personal preference is to save it as a PDF because then it's unalterable, you know, and, and it's just a document. It's there. It can't be changed. If you had to go back and, and alter something, you would have to go back and do an addendum, right? So uh, I'll get into that in another time, but that's a good reason why it's, it's, it's worthwhile to keep a Google Doc and a PDF of each encounter. And that way, if you have to make any changes, you can always uh, go back to your Google Doc, make edits, and then finalize it as an addendum to a new PDF. Anyway, so here's what I want to show you. A couple ways to add a signature. It's very simple. What we want to do is insert, insert the signature. And we're, we're going to do that by adding an image, right? So you can upload your signature from your computer. Um, this is done in a variety of ways. I personally, the way that I did it on my Mac was I opened up a PDF uh, uh, previewer and it uh, has an option there to add a signature. So I just signed a signature, I created a screenshot, which I then made into, I converted into a PDF. It was a little bit involved, right? But I do have a signature on my, on my computer on file that I can pull up and upload it from my computer. Okay, so there's one option. If Now, here's the easier option, right? The easier option is to come down to Google Drawing, and I'm going to say I want to add a new drawing. That's going to pop this up. We're going to come over to this little line right here. It says line. We don't want a straight line. We want to be able to write whatever we want, so we're going to come to Scribble. From here, then we can go ahead and, and put in a signature. This is a lot easier on something that has a, a touchpad. So if you were able to do this either on a phone or an iPad, it's a lot easier. Or if you just have a touch screen on your computer uh, so that you can use your finger on your screen, it's going to look a lot better than trying to use a mouse or, or, a, or a touchpad. Right? But I'll, what I have, I have my Mac right now, so I'm just going to show this on my touchpad. Let's say, Rick, let's say my name's Richard. Just a fictitious there and then there you go there's my name so and then I'm gonna push this up here it says save and close so it's gonna save and close it and that's gonna pop right up into my document right and then so from there I'm going to from there I'm going to resize it and then I can put it wherever I want right in this case you have to enter or tab it to wherever you want and again you can change it to whatever size you need and again, I recommend having this on all your templates so your signature is just there, right? All right, so that does it. We're also currently working, I don't know if I did, I mentioned this before, we're working on an add-on that makes act, this process actually a lot more simple. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, we'll get, get that out to the group as soon as we can. So again, thanks guys and have a good one.